farm about 5,000 acres, all mainly canola, wheat, and peas, and oats, different things, whatever makes money. What do you like most about farming? <laughs> um, some days not much, but uh, most of the time it's just good to be able to try out different techniques and it's always nice to see any kind of success that comes at harvest time when actually get the combines rolling and get the satisfaction of a good crop, I guess. How long have you been uh, trying out variable rate fertility on the farm? Well, this past season would have been our fourth season using variable rate. So. Um, when you first made the decision to start, uh, what, what, why, did, why did you get into it? Basically, uh, we were upgrading drills at the time and uh, I could just kind of see on the horizon at the time, I think fertilizer was approaching a thousand bucks a ton for nitrogen, so I, I thought uh, cost savings would be the biggest benefit. I wasn't too worried about a yield bump because we are generally a dry area where nitrogen isn't the huge limiting factor. It's usually the rain, but uh, just trying to keep our input costs down I thought would be the, big, the biggest bang for the buck. And have you seen any results in that respect as far as uh, Yeah, definitely with a higher nitrogen cost, you see a bigger return where you're saving inputs on land where it's not needed and putting it in other areas. But now, well, it's climbing back up again. But last few years, it wasn't quite as bad in that four to $500 a ton range. So, but uh, definitely it's, paying for itself with with uh, nitrogen cost increases all the time. Can you think of a specific field or a time where you were happy with the results on a VR field? Uh, one field that stands out is uh, an oats field that we had two years ago. Um, it looked good all year and then some rains came at harvest time and uh, it all lodged on me but it's still even with all the lodging we still pulled off over bushels an acre on it but I'm sure we left 20 or 30 in the field so <laughs> and uh, the stuff we didn't variable rate about four or five miles away probably ran 90 so any uh, any issues with the technology when you first started adopting monitors controllers that sort of stuff no actually that's half the reason I went to farmers edge to begin with because uh, it was all brand new technology to me and to a lot of people and uh, seemed like the guys at, at Farmer's Edge were pretty comfortable with all the new technology and they could walk me through it step by step. I never had a problem that way where even the people that sell the equipment generally don't have any idea how to run it. So <laughs> that was a big, uh, a big drawing card for me.